Uh, Simon, thank you for joining me. Congratulations on a well-balanced, great, fun film. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Oh, great. Good. I'm pleased to hear that. So what I want to talk about first is the reintroduction of Mortal Kombat through the eyes of a newcomer, Cole Young. Can you talk about that decision? Yeah. So, you know, there's, a there's, as you would be very aware, there's a lot of dense, rich, layered information in the canon of Mortal Kombat. So there's a lot to, a lot to learn and a lot to sort of know. Um, and we felt that um, a couple of reasons why Cole exists. One is to bring just the sheer function of bringing a new, he's a new set of eyes to bring the, the audience through. Um, we we're very conscious of that. And also Mortal Kombat brings new characters in all the time. So we sort of felt like there was precedent there to, to allow that. Uh, we were very conscious of not wanting to change fundamentals and we knew there were some riskier things you know like his but we just felt it was sort of the right thing to do because obviously new audiences and existing audiences again it was kind of a, a balancing act so um that's really the simple reason um and then it was just about balancing him against having giving him that reason to exist in the film and, and why he exists in the film and what his connection is and then um making sure everyone all the other characters got their their deserved time and um, attention you have so many unique characters that you have to get through each of them with a variety of different fighting styles and moves and i feel like were there any challenges in making sure that you have enough character development through through fight sequences yeah that was that was actually a really that was something we, we talked about and thought about a lot so what we did is we built, uh, a, we sort of called it the fight graph. And what it was, was, you know, I storyboarded the whole film out. And then from within that, we sort of knew where the fights were going to be. And it allowed me to have this sort of overriding sort of helicopter view of the film and understand the sort of structure within it. And then those fights, we sort of separated them out and knew that there were things with there was story we needed to drive through the fights we needed to build character through the fights and we also needed variety within the fights so there, there wasn't this sort of fight fatigue of the sort of tonnage of just fighting some of them are very short and others are longer um but it was really sort of thinking about each fight and going what's this doing is this doing the right thing is it too long is it too, you know there were some there's some fights that have had little that have had sections taken out because they were just too long um the stunt guys, Kyle and Chan, did an amazing job with their team um, of, of creating, you know, we spent a lot of time talking about story within the fights. So they really, they're great storytellers as well as great athletes and great sort of choreographers. So um, they did that extremely well. Um, so, yeah, we just sort of talked about that a lot and made sure we were sort of constantly balancing. Are you excited that now that, uh, theaters are opening up safely that you're going to have a wide variety of audiences are going to be able to experience it in theaters and not just in their homes. Yeah, I, I'm thrilled that people will be able to see it anywhere they want to see it, actually. Um, that, that was really exciting to me that that could happen in this horrible year and what we're sort of all going through at the moment. Um, I, it, when we set out, when I set out to, to make this version of, of Mortal Kombat, it was it was to make an epic elevated cinematic experience. So the idea that people, if they choose to, can go and see it in Dolby Atmos on a giant screen or IMAX, that's what it was designed to do. So that I'm thrilled. I'm so happy that that opportunity is just getting sort of easier and easier um, as time goes on. So yeah, I'm, I'm overjoyed at that. Simon, thank you, so much. thank you so much Pleasure, for your man. time. I appreciate the film. I appreciate the balance. And I cannot wait to hear that soundtrack blasting on an Atmos uh, speaker system in theaters. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Man. All right. Take care.